Hello, I'd like to give you some information um, about online learning that's going to happen at Detroit Catholic Central. Where do I go to access information about my son's classes? Classes will not be held like they were during the normal school day. Some subject areas will be held on Mondays and Wednesdays, and other subjects will be held on Thursdays and Tuesdays. What classes are held on those days? On Mondays and Wednesdays, math, social studies, foreign languages, fine arts, and computers will be held. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, science, English, theology, business education, and physical education will be held. Where will information for my son's classes be located? Information for all classes will be located on the topics page. Teachers have been informed to put the information here by 8 a.m. the day of their class. What happens if the material is not posted? Email the teacher first. If it is not up by 8.30 then have and haven't heard a response, please contact the school. Someone will be happy to address the situation. Please do not call the school before 8.30. What happens if my son is sick and or has an appointment and is going to miss school on those days? Go to the resources tab in my CC and mark him absent like you would during a normal school day. Please fill out the form completely. If your son was marked absent and we have not received a notification from you, expect to receive a call the following day. What is this all going to look like? What should I expect? Hello, wanted to share with you exactly where you're going to need to navigate in order to help your son find out what he should be doing during this online learning process that we have. Uh, first thing is you want to make sure that you're a parent. Uh, go to your son by clicking your son's name. If you have multiple sons, make sure you select the right one. Um, and then you will be immediately dumped into this progress tab that we have right here. Uh, once you're in there, if you just go ahead and scroll down, these are all the classes that your son um, has this current uh, uh, quarter. So once you go in there, you can decide to click on a class and it will bring you, it immediately dumps you into the, what we refer to as the bulletin board tab, but where teachers are going to put their information is in this topics portion. Um, and right now, this teacher from the previous quarter has their topics portion uh, organized by chapter. Now, what we've asked the teachers to do is, is now when they, when they upload material, um, is to put that by the day that they're actually teaching. So instead of chapter 13, you're probably going to see March 23rd, March 24th, those types of things. So you know exactly where to go in order to get that day's work and that day's material. Assignments for the class are going to be posted here, um, in addition to also being on that topics page. So that's where you're going to need to go in order to navigate that. Now, in addition to that, uh, one of the things that I mentioned in the previous slides is where to go if your son is absent or if you have any questions. Uh, absence reporting tile is still located right here. Uh, we also have the student wellness. This is something, some information that uh, for, for parents. And we also have student wellness, and this is information for students. But we put both of these tiles up here. In addition to that, what we're going to create is we're going to have a tile here where we're going to continue to update information about online learning resources, some of the questions that you have, uh, any feedback that you want to give, we've created a Google form. So please look for that. That should be available on Friday, March 20th, for you to go in and check out any of that type of information. If you do have any questions or concerns, don't, don't hesitate to fill out that form or contact the school. We look forward to working with you, and we really appreciate your patience and understanding during this time. Thank you, and have a great day.